you describe what unfolded in the sixth inning? Um, kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, I um, got ejected for, um, you know, hitting the top of the dugout with my bat, making too much noise, I guess. So I wasn't happy about it. I didn't feel like what I did warranted an ejection. Um, you know, I know that um, it's something that I've, I've done before, but when, when this happened a week or two ago in Toronto when I got thrown out, um, that didn't have anything to do with hitting the top of the dugout. It had something to do with the home plate umpire hearing something from the dugout and thinking it was me that said it. So uh, today, um, yeah, I didn't think I did anything to warrant getting ejected, um, you know, almost on a daily basis or, or a lot of times over the course of the season, I do a lot of things um, to get our guys fired up. And, um, you know, I thought it was a big point in the game, very, very big game against a big, um, a really good team, a really good opponent. And um, last thing I'm trying to do is, is leave that game early and us possibly have to put Tyro in the outfield or, or put Judge in, um, in the game on a day he's trying to get the day off and rest a little bit. So, um, you know, frustrated that I got thrown out, but again, um, just didn't feel like I did something to warrant the ejection. And uh, it's unfortunate. I'm glad we got the win. As you mentioned, this is the second time this has happened in recent days. Do you either have to put the bat away or, or seek an explanation as to what the penalty and or punishment are for that? Yeah, I mean, maybe I can use something else to hit something else. Maybe I can take the helmet to the helmet rack and that's not as loud and that'll be okay. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I feel like today, I, I feel like I, I kind of had a target on my back. Um, as soon as, as soon as I, after Boone got ejected, uh, which we're all fired up about when your manager stands up for you in that way. So, um, you know, I felt like as soon as I hit the top of the dugout, Phil was running over from first base, pointing in the dugout, telling me I can't do that and threw me out. So I asked him why, um, you know, and nobody's told me that I can't do that. Nobody's told me that I can't make noise. And again, I didn't do anything to, um, I didn't direct anything at anyone. Um, didn't say anything, so unfortunate situation. I know you're out there on the field trying to seek an explanation. Did you get any kind of feedback from them in that moment? Um, not really, other than um, you know, it's just a tough part of the game, I guess. Um, I'm sure I'll hear something about it later today or tomorrow. I actually ran into Joe Torrey this morning before the game, awkwardly enough, so um, I'm sure I'll, I'll have a conversation with him in the next day or two. Um, yeah, I'm um, sorry for getting thrown out of the game, but again, I didn't um, expect to get thrown out for what I did. But uh, besides that you hit the ceiling of the dog, you couldn't say anything to the, to the empire, you know? Not today, no, I, I, or, um, or last week either, yeah. But no, I didn't say anything to anyone today. Uh, said um, on Sunday that you did do enough to get ejected in his eyes. Did you have a discussion with him about what it was that crossed the line? On, um, I don't think it was Sunday, but the last one. Well, I think um, once I found out I got ejected, I guess, in Toronto, I, after that, I, I was pretty animated on the field, which I guess was out of line. So, so it wasn't that. I understand that, but, um, you know, the ejection in Toronto happened a full minute after the bat hit the ceiling of the dugout and somebody yelled a couple expletives maybe from the dugout and thought it was me. That was later on, a few pitches later. Um, but today, yeah, obviously there was a lot going on around that time with, with our manager getting thrown out previously. Um, and I was making noise, getting our guys fired up like I do, like I do very often and apparently it was too much. On the field, uh, oh, go ahead, Christy. That's why I said it wasn't the bat, because you said Dan Iasone told you you had, he noticed the bat in the last ejection. Right. So Tori told you that wasn't a problem? Um, I've not been told that I can't hit or make noise. Yeah. But the fact that I saw you did mention that to you in Toronto when you went to the ceiling today, was there a part of you thinking that they might be looking in the dugout for that? Um, is there a, I mean, I feel like they're looking in the dugout quite often, I guess is my first answer to that question. And my second answer would be, I didn't think I was doing anything to you know, warrant getting thrown out or even close to getting ejected. So, um, you know, I can understand coming over there, maybe telling me to knock it off, you're making too much noise. Um, but to come over there, you know, kind of the rabbit ears kind of thing, just constantly looking for something. Um, 
I thought it was I thought it was pretty quick. First, do you think at this point, for everybody to say, it needs to be a, an official directive? There's no rule in the book that says you can't do that. But I mean, do you need does the does MLB need to say either a this is not allowed or b it needs to be ignored? I mean, one or the other. Because it seems right now it's open open to you know, personal interpretation. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what will come of it or what the what the outcome will be from those discussions. Would you prefer to have somebody tell you black and white? You can do this. You can't do this. Well, I would. I would prefer for um, you know. I guess if we're trying to make the game fun again, like a lot of guys say the last few years. I mean, I don't think you want all the guys sitting in the dugout not being able to say anything or make any noise or. Anything like that, that wouldn't be too much fun. So, you know, I'm not saying what I did was right or, or what the right answer is to, but I probably won't do it again tomorrow.